Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a Dollar Tree shop with me in July. My store was a little bit picked over, but I'm going to show you guys what they currently have so you can run out to your Dollar Tree if you like any of these items and grab them. So outside they had quite a bit of florals. I was drawn to the um, their take on the sunflowers. They had an orange one, they had an orange and yellow one that looked really pretty, and then tons of different picks. So if you want to get some picks to jazz up your little floral arrangement, Dollar Tree is the place to go. I am not, this is not going to be a video where I, where I show you guys exactly everything. I'm going to show you most things that they have, but I'm kind of going to focus on a few of my favorite items. I will be doing a part two because I will go to another Dollar Tree because mine, like I said, was a little bit picked over and it had a lot of back to school items. So I will go again so you guys can see any new items that they have. So this is just part one of a two part series. So, like I said, back to school kind of still ruled the Dollar Tree store, but in the back here, I found some of their pumpkins. They had glitter pumpkins, and then I absolutely love these velvet pumpkins. The white ones were my favorite, but they had a big white. This orange, the orange was a bit bright. They also had it in this deep, deep, um, like, emerald green shade. And then they also had it in a beautiful teal. So, um, and the stem of the pumpkins were just a painted brown plastic. Here were some more flowers, but oh my goodness, I couldn't pass these signs. So they had this happy harvest sign, the little red truck. If you are into red trucks, Dollar Tree has quite a few items. Um, I loved it because it had a real piece of metal on it. This sign is ab my absolute favorite. It is um, farm fresh and it has that real piece of painted metal on it. And then this one up top is also cute as well and that's the pumpkin one. And then they had this Thanksgiving sign. Um, this one was really cute as well. It had a little bit of glitter on it. Um, give thanks, happy harvest, gather together, blessing, all are welcome, and thanksgiving. Um, and I love this one it, with the sunflowers on it, give thanks. That little piece of the met middle, it wasn't um, metal, but it was raised. Um, also, this neutral sign I thought was very pretty. Friends gather here, and I love the distressing on it. And then thankful, grateful, and blessed. That one was really cute as well, and I love the, 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 the distress wood background. And then they had a few mason, mason jar signs with a little bit of glitter on them. And then they brought back their owls from last year, which are super duper cute. And like I said, they did have some glitter pumpkins. Those are repeats from last year. They had these picks in the corn and the flower. Those are repeats from last year. They had more red truck signs. Um, that was a really cute pick they had. And then, oh my goodness, I love, love, love these. And I love the colors they were. The home sweet home and the friends gathered here. Then they had a few banners. You can never go wrong with banners. They had a football one, one that was for, that looked more Thanksgiving, and then one that looked more fall. So one for each of our um, fall holidays. They also had a few window clings, and I love this one because of the mason jar. And then they had those um, door hangers, which are repeat from last year. And then some 3D stickers, which were really cute. They had one for Thanksgiving and then some with um, pumpkins on them. And then tons and tons of leaves, um, kind of a garland that you can put anywhere. And then a few more um, fall um, florals inside, but most of it was still summertime at my Dollar Tree. And then we're gonna come to this in cap and I love this little rope that they had. It was really thick and I thought it was good quality for just a dollar. They had these speckled pumpkins which were really adorable. I would say the white is not a true, true white. It's more of a cream and um, the orange is a bit more muted than the velvet pumpkins. But these smaller little clip pumpkins kind of had like a paper clip backing. And then um, they had these little jars for little DIY, one in rose, the um, rose gold or 
and then one in silver and then all of these little wood figurines for DIYs that I thought were really cute. Tons and tons of ribbon. I thought that one kind of looked like a candy corn. And I'm just gonna go over my favorites. They had a ton. And this one with that extra little sparkle into it. Oh my goodness, this is so cute for a little farmhouse Christmas. I thought this little um, red and white plaid was so adorable with that tan on the end. I thought that would be so cute. And then I loved this um, green burlap ribbon and then more red trucks. So if you are obsessed with red trucks, this is Dollar Tree is your store to go to. And then they have a traditional um, black and white buffalo check. And this year I am still not sure what direction I'm gonna go with for my fall decor. I don't think I'm gonna do black and white. I've never really focused on that before, but I think I'm gonna do neutrals with pops of orange, you know, some traditional tones, um, and then copper. I really love this pumpkin. So they have a ton of stuff for DIYs and another truck that you can paint red and it has little pumpkins in the back and then more and more picks. My Dollar Tree still had quite a bit of summer items out, but I tried to find all of the fall that they had out for you guys. So guys, oh my goodness, I hit the jackpot with that harvest, thankful and welcome. I'm actually going to use these for another DIY for my tablescape and I was so excited to find them. Um, these leaves are absolutely gorgeous and they're in that rich brown tone, that orange and that green and they're all glittered and I thought that would be so great to decorate any space in your home. And Dollar Tree this year, if you were looking to do fall DIYs, it is the place to go. Um, I found these little ornaments, but I'm gonna use it, use them to make a banner in Brooklyn's play area. But I just was thinking these would be so cute as like place cards for Thanksgiving or any fall um, gathering that you may have at your house. These would be so cute. Or even if it's just you and your little family, these would be adorable as place setting cards. Um, they had an owl, they had an apple, they had the leaves, and then they also had the turkey. Also on that same shelf, I found this little witch hat form that I thought was adorable for Halloween. And then some hangers for wreaths for your porch. Um, they had that in orange, and then they also had it in a brown tone. Um, I definitely had to pick up those little metal words, and I you can use those for so many DIY projects. Next, I was so excited that I did find these itty bitty tiny signs. If you love glitter and you love um, traditional fall colors, you're gonna love these signs. They are really small pumpkins and that orange, that green and that black, and they are great for a tiered tray. I wish I would've put my hand up to it so you can see how just how miniature they were, but they are perfect size for a little tiered tray. And then these pumpkins, they are metal, um, they are painted. I, of course, gravitated towards the white one, but they also had orange or green one, which was, which was a little bit taller, and then that brown one. The other pumpkins had um, a little touch of gold to it to make it a look a little bit distressed, but I thought they were so cute. These are perfect for a tear tray as well. And then if you 
you were into the glitz and the glam, they had some gold pumpkins and some orange pumpkins. The gold ones were a little bit taller and then the orange ones were a little bit shorter, but they were shiny and they were so cute. And then they had a handful of signs, and these ones are a little bit bigger, but they had um, be grateful and give thanks, and then two autumn blessing signs, um, one in the white distressed, um, with a distressed background, it kind of looks like shiplap, and then one with that green, that spa green, and then they also have an orange one that I'll show you guys a bit later. They also had some longer signs, which were a bit thinner in material, but they were cute as well to add to a tear tray or maybe a hutch. And then my Dollar Tree did have a few of those lettered pumpkins, um, but they didn't have any of the letters that I wanted. So I am on the hunt for these lettered pumpkins at a different Dollar Tree with some different letters. They had a lot of C's and just random letters, but I'm showing you kind of all the pumpkins they had. And they did have a little pink one back there, but that one was broken. And then these signs, their lettering is in glitter. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, it is part one of Dollar Tree Shop With Me. I will go in a week or so, and I hope that they have more items out to show you guys. But if you liked anything that you saw in this video, go head out to your Dollar Tree because you know these dollar items sell out so quickly. Um, thank you for watching, friends, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.